Woodger, a scout, and a sheep all on top of one another here at Back's base. Pretty insane stuff. Uh, let's change the colors. Yo, in the blue. I'm not sure that's legal. <laughs> a horse, and, a sheep, um, and a man? I don't know. I don't know. Only in some countries. Let's get this game started, Houseboat. It's a lot more fun to watch this than play it, I'm sure, because I certainly did not... Well, I can't say I didn't enjoy it, but it was frustrating to play this because there's just so much to do. I doubt Jap that either one of these guys is going for a seven militia drush. <laughs> I seriously doubt that that's going to uh, happen. Well, it's probably because he didn't watch how effective it was because it was really effective. It really mm. screwed you over. Uh but anyway, we're probably going to see a dock in the middle here like we did. But beyond that, I'm not sure we're going to see what we did. Because <laughs> what did we do? Uh, Britain Knights, uh, seven militia drush. I think I yep. put three docks in the middle. I tossed sure. a few towers in there. Three towers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did you. Three towers, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so basically what they're trying to do right now is just explore the whole map. Um, get the bunch of sheep that are standing around here. There's a few in the middle as well uh, that they can snag. Yeah. Why aren't and, they in shorefish? Um, I don't know why they're not on shorefish. They should be. They should be on shorefish. Maybe it's a. They just want to take the sheep first before they go on shorefish. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> they definitely should be on shorefish, but. I guess if they're both not on shorefish, then there's a reason even. for yeah. that. Okay, so yeah, they, they exhausted the sheep and immediately went to shorefish. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. That was confusing, but we got past it. These guys are far apart, though, so we might have a bit of a boomy game. Like you said, I don't think we're going to be seeing a lot of feudal aggression, but I could be wrong. They're immediately landing, getting the lumber rolling. Well, there's really no point, like, one of the strats on this map is to do a forward dock, grush, like, to get rid of the fish. There's really no point with Japanese, though, because the fishing ships are so strong. Yeah, it's true, actually. Like, you need, like, you need, like, six galleys to, like, pick off Japanese fishing ships. It's just crazy. That's a good Nuts. point. I didn't think about that. I think at the point you grushed my town center area when we played... I only had one or two deep fish anyway, but I still yeah. need a lot of docks to defend it because my town center was there. Mm -hmm. Well, that's but the yeah, thing. Right. All the, the resources aren't are around important. there, too. Like, you look yeah. at the gold and stone and berries and everything, they're all around that. And you take... Yep. When you when you lay down a mill at the berries as well, you're taking shore fish included. So it's a yeah. big food source, gold source, stone, everything. Yeah, it's a big deal. It looks like Bact is building his dock now. Meanwhile, Yo is doing the same, so very similar builds. Both players do know this map. That one I'm certain on. And they're getting a lot of scouting in. With the sheep, with the scouts. Which they have transported to the outer edge. Now, the creator of this map is in my chat right now. Oh, Yo just got his scout trapped! What? Oh, wow, that's huge. That's awesome. That scout's... Oh, he oh, got, out. got out! What? <laughs> you know what? Box pulled that one villager back to wood, and then the scout got out. It was pretty... He matrixed his way out of that. I, I don't that know why, there. why Box uh, chose to send that villager back to wood. He well, he just... couldn't attack him, right? And yeah. he thought it was trapped in there, so... Maybe. But he This is one of those weird things. One of those weird things. Snagged his way out of there. Damn. That would have been huge. Just a couple times throughout these games where Bakhtas had the unfortunate... Had these unfortunate things happen to him. Mm. It's just like the small things. I feel like the small things just have not favored Bakht in these games. And you could always say that like the better player always has the fortunate things happen to him, but... I feel like it hasn't been like that. It's just been more so like him just being unfortunate and not making the bad decision. Well, if you look at the scouting right now, Bact actually has better scouting by decent margin than yeah. Yo. Yeah. Done a it's, really it's good job with that. It's incredible how seven minutes in they've already scouted this well. Just mind blowing. But yeah, great scouting. Meanwhile, Yo, take a look at him. Well, Yo has scouted what he's needed to at this point. He scouted that wood line. He scouted the 
little lake or pond, whatever you want to call that. And I wonder, I see those houses coming down from back. Wonder if he's going to drop a, a dock there to wall it off. I bet you oh, yeah, watched those. the T90 yep. series promo. Game six. Yeah, he probably did. He probably yep. did. Yeah, he told me he's a huge fan. <laughs> probably going to drop a dock there. Kind of secure it, or he's going to count on his... Oh, he's not going to make any galleys, probably, so that wouldn't defend it. I'm dumb. Never mind. <laughs> he's not going to watch the next one after that comment. Yeah, I know. Look, look how many sheep Yo has next to this mill, and he's collecting them as well. And they're in such an orderly fashion. I really respect that. And he's bringing them in one at a time. <laughs> Man, his sheep respect him, all right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> There's no messing around with those sheep. They're literally lined up to die. I know, seriously. Like, they're queued up to die. It's so nice, yeah. We respect wildlife on this channel. All right, so okay. let's take a look at the economy. Yo, I think he's about to click up now. Getting there anyway. Same amount of villagers. Yeah. Bakht has an extra fishing ship. I think Bakht is going to click up shortly as well. And they're beginning to transport all the villagers they have to the outer edge because they are going to click up to the feudal age. Yeah, and Bakht, uh, Bakht didn't bring his sheep in. So Yo has been taking the sheep. Bakht has one, two, three, four, five, six. That are just chilling at random spots on the map that he has yeah. not br brought in yet. I don't know if the sheep are that important. To be honest, I like don't they think collect so. kind of yeah. slow. So, like, if you send those villagers, like, for example, if Yo had those villagers on wood and he was just making fishing ships instead, then I feel like he would be in a better position. So, I feel like that's why. But Box, then again, the what sheep's gonna do? I don't know. The sheep collect faster than the berries, and Bact is on all the berries. He's yeah, not really. That's true. He's only taking shore fish with one villager. I, I don't know if that's because. He wants to save the shore fish for later for his fishing ships, but I, yeah. I have no clue. <laughs> it is kind of funny, though. I really do appreciate this, because this is something normally, like, if you are Ooh. casting a game, you're like, wow, this guy's a new... Well, Forward well, 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 well. barracks from backed. From backed. Forward racks. Ooh. Yeah. And you know what? The thing is, one, two, I think that can be walled off to the left, but on the right, it needs a dock wall, like you were talking about. Or yo, so we might see some aggression. Fact is, I think he's gonna go with castle age aggression because his economy is looking pretty good. He's probably gonna go with an archery range, and then blacksmith. Yeah, back archery at home. range is on the other side of his base, and the blacksmith. At oh, home. oh and a dog three coming in! Dog forward. coming in from back. I'm not certain <laughs> about how effective this is against where's, Japanese where's, fishing ships. Where's the dock? Wait, 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 wait. In oh, the there, worst there, spot there. possible. Okay. That's where the dock is. Right oh, where Yo can good. see it. But can Yo see it? Yes, he can. He can see it. Yeah, I don't agree with that decision. Because look how many deep fish are left, man. This is exactly what I said. I guess there's one, two, three, four. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's worth well, it. I but just, still. I, I like for the c control aspect, but I mean... It's so hard to try and kill Japanese fishing ships, and you can just use them as a meat shield. Yo's to, just it's gonna, gonna be go so micro ship, intensive. Yeah. The yeah, thing is, is that Yo's nuts. on the way up to the castle age, and Bact has yet to do that. He's gonna build a tower there. He's going with a galley. This is interesting. Because there's gonna be a galley out. This tower's gonna maybe get up. Yo's with that counter tower. Yo's gonna get the counter tower up for sure. This is pretty awkward for both players. I think Bax is gonna get his tower up. Oh, he is, and he's gotta he's Wait. gotta piece out now. Yeah, he's gotta go I, now. I don't I don't know if he's gonna if it's gonna stay up or if it's gonna do too much. Well, or, if like, he has if he brings that galley over, he can snipe those villagers. Yeah, but he's killing he's the, transport the transport. Ship. I don't like that decision. The transports are pretty tanky. I feel like you should send the galleys in, like you said, and go after the villagers there, but he's not doing that. He's going after these Japanese fishing ships, Dave, and oh man, it's just such a bad decision. We're going to see yeah. a fire ship from Yo shortly, and... Yeah, those what is Yo doing? Back. He's got one villager in backspace. Just <laughs> running in. Doesn't dum -da -dum -da -dum. even care. <laughs> he's dropping a dog! 
<laughs> right there. And there's two archers in there. Right <laughs> oh, man. That's not going to work out. <laughs> That's a ballsy play. It just walks right through backspace. Yep. It's not oh, going to work out. And back... Trying to clear up this one archer that's sniping his villagers. There, two yeah. of them are pretty weak here. Tower's already down, and the fire ship's coming out. I guess. Yeah, fire ship's gonna come out. Those villagers are gonna run back. I think the villager from Yo got pushed away. Luckily, back is on the way up. That's good for him. But... Oh, he might be able to kill the transport. Maybe kill, it. kill. It. No, kill it. no, no. It it won't kill go it. down. It'd be super annoying if he does, though, because then he's going to have to build another one. Oh, yeah, one. he's going to get it down now, but the, the villagers have gotten across. You're right, though. The transports are expensive. So now those villagers are going to be stuck there with no way to get off. And Yeah, to you know there. what? We're going to have to look at the villager count because back to... And he might be able to pick a few fishing ships here, too. Got one. They're kind of weak. One. Maybe two here. Those villagers are just sitting there. He's making <laughs> another one, but I think Bact is going to sit there and wait for that transport ship to come out. Yeah, and and when he's in the castle age, he can make fires as well. You know what? I feel like Yo should make another town center and fast. He needs to get his villagers working once he's creating any anyway. Because uh, Bact is doing a good job. That transport might actually be a huge deal. I'm gonna take a look and see what Bact is gonna do when he hits the castle age. He's at 90 stone. He should be able to get to 100 shortly and build another town center. That transport, new one from Yo, that's 125 uh, one. wood. Go. You had to spend on that and you had to wait. But those those three villagers weren't doing anything for the past couple of minutes, so that's still pretty pretty big deal. Elite Skirmisher coming in from Bact. Interesting at, game we got through in here, at, boys. Yeah, and look at the play from Yo. He's actually gone for early <laughs> ballistics and he's only on one range. That's yeah, really weird. Yeah, he's got four weird. crossbows near and Bact's base, but Bact... Two. Bax oh. done a wonderful job house walling there, and he might actually come over and trap those four crossbows oh, with gosh, his army. Oh gosh, yeah, elite skirmisher. Yeah, I, I don't know if will. it's worth it to send that entire army there. Maybe he's going to anyway. The back is still running around with that one gal. <laughs> <laughs> the hero galley. The hero galley. Is um, Yo buying... That that's good though for Bax. He's picked off three yep. out of the four crossbows. He could pick off that last one there as well. And oh, two fire, three fire ships now from Bax. One, two already queued up, and a third one coming. Uh, right now. Yeah. So, See, at might this be point, a nice, nice little bonus there. I'd love to I'd... see actually a demolition ship right into that gold from Yo. That would be <laughs> the play. <laughs> that would be a huge That'd be amazing. Play. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Just boom. There goes your gold. Crossbows. I don't think it'd be that effective, sadly. But it would be funny to see. Crossbows no, you can kill, you kill a villager with one demolition ship. 40 attack. Well, I don't, I don't think that's a good trade, range. though, is my point. Hey, no. Uh, it's ego points, all right? It's style points. Ego points. <laughs> Um, uh, crossbows coming out from Yo. He's gonna go towards the gold and the stone of Bakht. Bakht is there with crossbows. Yo does have Bodkin Arrow, though. Look at the army coming in now uh -oh. from Bakht at the top. I didn't see this, and, and oh my gosh. Yo's gonna fight huge. with Vils. And also, there's a demolition ship in Yo's dock that could take out all, all of those fire all ships. Those. Yeah. We're gonna have to pay attention to both of these things. There's a Maganel there. I'm gonna try and pay attention to everything at once. A lot of villagers going down. This is down. really bad for Yo. This is so bad. Yeah, this is bad. He can't, he has to get a good shot here with this Maganel. And there's a decent shot, but that TC is gonna be denied. Elite oh, Skirmishers the are so tanky too. I know. Oh man, that TC, he, but back, don't get trapped back there, please. Yeah. He's doing a great job. Oh, the nice split splits. as well. Nice splits. He just needs to focus down the villagers. And good splits. Oh, he's just going for the economy. This is fantastic play. And you know what? This could be game-changing as well, because... How many villagers have gone down? Seven, eight, nine probably at this point? And he's continuing to focus down villagers. That one's probably going to die as well. And I think he's cleaned up the army back at his base. <laughs> he even dodged just... that last shot with one cross. Fantastic. Man. Yeah, that's great, man. That's great. And I think as this is about to get cleaned up, 
I'm looking back at his base. He's losing a villager or two to these crossbows, but that was well worth it. It might have been a little bit of over microing, but it was well worth it for sure. And he has that water control as well, so he can stop the transports if he needs to. Yeah, and that's the first TC on the outer edge for you. So that's only yeah. a second TC, and he hasn't been producing from that main one because he, he hasn't been able to transport them over, really. Yep. Um, and meanwhile, Bact has that second one for quite a while now. I like how Bact is still microing these three units. Yeah, like, this is, is like a Winchester play right here. Yeah, He's like, nope. Like... He's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he oh, just the lost them all. Just lost an them all. Incredible attack round. Yeah, I know. The closest headshot. possible range. Got headshotted. And Bakht could actually kill this TC from Yo. Yeah, I think that's what he, he's thinking about doing. With the fire ships. Yeah, I'm still paying attention to the top side as Yo's sending units around. We have the crossbows and the Maganel. And it looks like Bakht wants to caused some more problems. It looks like he actually killed a villager with the fire ship. Yeah, there. he did. And this could be a bad fight for Bact. He doesn't want to over micro too much into this one because there's a Maganel and oh, he's going to go for it. Going back now. But the economy difference is huge. 42 vils to 27. Look at the dead bodies back at Bact's base. I didn't notice this. Um... I'm thinking it's a lot of crossbows and skirmishers. No, but... he was having a crossbow fight there. I think he lost two yeah. villagers. Gotcha. Not near as bad um, as Yo, though. No. So, Bact actually might take down the market from Yo, which would be pretty bad for him. With that fire ship. <laughs> That'd be a really big play, man. If you think annoying, you have a market sure. and you count, you like need gold that second. What am and then I go constantly there and it's not there anymore? I Probably keep transport hearing... ship trying to unload. Oh, is that what it is? If you're hearing that like clicky sound? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've big fight here for back. Like three times. But the Manganel coming for Yo now. Ooh. He might be tempted to fight this one because there's only six crossbows and he has. Yeah, I mean he just, he just picked off three crossbows from Yo, so he's picking really good fights here. And he knows he has the villager. Like, look at the vill lead, man. And the fish 47 lead to 28. Too. Yep. F six fishing boats. Oh, uh, fishing ships don't need too much now, but, but yeah. He needs Still to defend difference. this. I, I don't like the fact that he's running the crossbows to the left. I feel like he should do what he did last game and just play it safe and let his economy do work, basically, because he's going to just send out one Maganel to defend against six crossbows and a Maganel. If he loses his Maganel, he could have his economy harassed, and this would not be good for oh, him. And man. here you go. Oh, good attack ground, though. Will he kill that Maganel? He's going to get a shot off. No, he will not. Gosh, so frustrating to see. Mm -hmm. All he needed to do there was hold that side. But he is going to send the crossbows out, and maybe I'll be, be a fool in saying that. And he'll do a lot of damage. Man, Bact is being so annoying with this one galley he made. He's causing Yo to like <laughs> micro 12 of his archers. Like yeah, the last two that. minutes, he's just been dicking around with one galley. Hitting Vils, running away, hitting crossbows, running away, finally died. Well, speaking of annoying, Yo is continuing to be annoying with his Maganel. Oh, he's good just trade. lost it, but those three crossbows are still there, delaying that wood yeah. line. Oh, when a big shot could come in from Yo! Bact can't split away from that one. I feel Bact like it's been point pretty on top game, of it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like at this point in the game, a significant amount of raiding is not going to be done. Like, both players kind of have their bases locked down. So, whatever eco harassment has been done has been done. And it's going to be about just like balancing out your economies. And Bakht is in a better position. So, Yo's going to have to do something really, really out there. Really surprising to well, I mean, damage Bact, Bact. Bact has enough for a castle now. Dropping another town center, but he's still got 700 stone. Yeah. So I'm interested to see like where he chooses to put it. Yeah, it's true. I'm not sure where he would put it. I have a pause it. on my end. I, I do as well, yeah. Um, okay, it's it's back. It's backed. <laughs> um, 
Just getting horse cut right now, which is not the best. But yeah, the castle is probably going to be put by some crucial resources. But it's weird because, like, all the golds are small piles and the stones as well. And it's kind of all split up, so maybe you want to protect your wood and just one or two of those small golds. But both players sending out crossbows and small armies just trying to be annoying. Trying to harass. I do notice that Yo has a total of four TCs, but I don't think he's creating from the one in the middle. Meanwhile, Bakht is at um, one, two, three himself. Yes. This is a lot less messy, at least I feel, <clears throat> in comparison to what to when we played because it was really difficult for me. I, I just yeah. did not know what was going on. Like I was outpost walling. I was doing whatever I could, but these guys have some control anyway. And back to actually might trap in Yo's crossbows here, but back has a lot of wounded units. <laughs> he does have a lot of wounded units, but he has a couple skirmishers in there, so maybe that'll help him. Plus, he has the ranges and more crossbows coming in, so I think he can create some units if he needs to to help out. That's 1,300 stone now. What's the play here with the stone? 1,400 now. Treps. <laughs> He's going but to where, uh, where, build castles. Is he going to drop Treps. like four castles at the same time? I like, don't know, just man. the GG build right there. Four castles on top of Yo's face. <laughs> right on the right on the water, and then go cannon galleons and GG. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's true. I mean, he could easily sell that and then just buy whatever. There's he one needs. of them. The one of them at the front. Where's okay. the second one going down? Maybe the other one where that Maganel is right now. Try and secure that location. I think that'd be the the spot Maybe. I would put it. There's some pretty good choke points here the way the wood's set up like i feel like that castle in the middle is a nice place um because he can kind of hold that area if that castle is there uh i don't know where the second one is gonna go i feel like if i were to guess it would be where i said it would be maybe a little bit more far forward where the relic is by the mackinel yep there it is relic castle right there which one? What? I don't see it. See? Nope. Castle from back, right by the relic in his base. Oh, oh, I was talking about the other one, so I'm wrong. Oh, but yeah. yeah. Good okay. position, though, because there's, there's wood there. You could have just run there. with it. <laughs> no. No, my stream saw where I was looking, so oh. I can't lie in front of 300 people. <laughs> Alright, then. Elite Skirmisher coming in from Yo now. And back just got ballistics like a minute ago, so. Yeah, but with the hmm. house walling from back now, I don't think there's much Yo can do to push in towards these castles. Now that castle will not quite be in range of all these units, but the TC will, so... Yo just seems behind because he just doesn't have the economy for what he wants to do. Yeah, and if back gets into the, the back of Yo's base there, Yo doesn't have a Maganel back in his base and back's trying to go around. Yeah. <laughs> If he gets I'm in there and just keeps running, he can take out a ton of villagers down there. Oh, but he's going for the house wall. He needs a dock there. Man, Dave, he must not follow the T90 official channel because he could have dock walled that and he didn't. I know. Man, what a shame. What a shame. His villagers are going to have to die for that. <laughs> There's one villager down. Megan shot. Oh, trip. we're at. Sorry. Oh, yeah. At uh, backspace. At backspace, yeah. I don't think those units are going to really be able to go further than where they're at now, but a couple villas could go down. Meanwhile, at Yo's base, villagers will go down. Nope. One down. One. And... Unfortunately. Well, actually, they might be cleaned up to these skirmishers if more continue to come in. TC getting that... a good shot as well. Oh, man, that's just bad. That's just bad. But TC so... is just doing a lot of damage <laughs> everywhere, actually. Fact is making another castle forward on the gold and the stone. Hmm. So this is where I expected the first castle to go, but I yeah. guess he's gonna... The, the next one's down there. This... Is he gonna go out to Imp soon? Like, he doesn't have the food. No. Th that's the weird thing. Like, he's built now three castles once he gets this one up. Oh, and the knight's coming over from Yo! Does Yo see that? Because he's just, like, miraculously coming over here with the knight. The house wall's coming up. Box needs the house wall the other side. Fucked! But there, there's oh, range know, units man. from Yo coming I, over too. Exactly, I yeah, don't exactly. Think 
Oh, it's going to be Yo so tight. Yo isn't paying attention. Yo isn't paying attention. It is going to be so tight because Bact has crossbows here now, too. Yeah. I think he just I, controlled I, that I knight. Gonna, he didn't I, I, exactly. Know. I think he's going to get it up. There's the knight, but the knight will go down. Um, Maganel's coming over. It, it's going to go up, I think. But um, what I was going to say is Bact has now built three castles, and he hasn't prioritized enough food to get up to the next stage. So it's just really peculiar. Uh, but Ooh. if he has the map control, maybe it'll be okay. Unfortunately for Maganel you, that Maganel's gonna down. go down. Yeah. yeah. There's so much going on at once here to be able to just talk about one thing. Another dock coming down. I love this. I love yeah. this. This could this could end the game actually. Yeah. He that just is goes war huge. galley. Yeah. And he has He's enough basically doing what I mentioned. Yeah. Three Maganels as well. <laughs> if we see cannon galleons here, I will lose it. <laughs> It'll, th I there will be a GG call so before much. that. Because <laughs> Cannon Galleon takes a long well, time to research. Well, they're both up to Imp now. Look at this, man. After this whole game, they're two seconds apart on Imp time. Oh my gosh. That's like Redonculous. a... It's like a, an actual second, not even two seconds. It's this uh, insane dude. But the Maganels, I, I just don't see Yo being able to push this back. And there's the GG. Yep. There's the GG. Well what, played what game. by both what of them. What a game. Well played by both of them, but that... Water control by Bact, I think, kind of pushed it over in the, the end, edge. In the end, yeah. yeah, I think that did it. And also, well, I think the biggest thing was that raid where he killed like 10 villagers with the skirmishers oh, yeah, and true. the crossbows. Definitely, yeah. And he just evaded that one Maganel for so long and stopped that town center. That was huge. Uh, that was that was really, really exciting. And no surprise we weren't going to see cannon galleons there because we were probably going to see the GG, but that would have been funny. Well played from Bact, and so now it's 4-2, and we get to see the seventh game. The last one is, take a look here, um, players have already started. It's mega random and it's random, Civs. <laughs> I hope they get the same map we got. <laughs> no, <laughs> actually that would be cool if, the, if it's not Koreans and Huns, because Huns is just awful for land nomad. I hope they get a double TC map. Yeah. Be got. That'd be crazy with no walls. 